Hi, I'm John Talk. I'm the rector of Emmanuel Episcopal Church, and I'm here with a video newsletter slash COVID update to answer two questions and to give you one update about where Emmanuel is in this COVID pandemic. The first question I'm being asked a lot of is, John, can we have a worship service geared specifically for those of us who have already been inoculated against COVID-19, for those of us who have already received our vaccinations? And that's an excellent question. It seems to make a lot of sense. Uh, why not? Um, and evidently it's a question that's being asked around the diocese because our bishop answered it for us on Tuesday with no. And there are two reasons for that no. I, I agree with both of them. The first is medical. The vaccinations that we're receiving right now are designed to protect you from getting sick from an infection that you will get. So the virus enters your body, it replicates. We believe you can still shed that virus and get other people sick, but your vaccination will keep you from getting sick from that virus. It won't necessarily protect the people around you. This is why even if you've been vaccinated, you will be asked to wear a mask when you go out in public. The second reason is theological. While it is true that from time to time we have numerical limits on the number of people who can worship with us, for example, the fire department sets a limit, I think it's 260 at Emmanuel, or maybe it's 160 at Emmanuel, um, because of access points and sprinklers and et cetera, et cetera. We never ask about who a person is. We don't ask about their status. We don't care if you're married or single. We don't care if you're black or white. We don't care if you're employed or unemployed. We don't care if you can read or not. We don't care if you're vaccinated or not. All are welcome once we're able to open our doors for anybody. And both of these things make a lot of sense. Unfortunately, it is a little disappointing, especially for those folks who have been vaccinated and can see a utility in gathering 20 or 30 or 40 people together for a worship experience. The second question that I'm being asked a lot about is what about Easter? Are we going to have Easter at Emmanuel? Even 25 people in the room, they say, would be better than nothing. And we just don't know. We don't know what Easter is going to look like, although we can imagine. We can imagine that Easter is going to look a lot like today. Unfortunately, the reason for that is that the vaccination numbers in Moore County are going to be going down, not up, the next few weeks. Moore County's vaccine allotment has been cut by the state basically in half. Rather than receiving a little bit over a thousand vaccine units per week, which is nowhere near sufficient, we are now receiving a little bit over, my understanding is, 400 vaccine allotments a week. And if you knew the math, one vaccine shot is for half a person. It takes two shots to fully inoculate one person. So 400 shots is 200 people inoculated in Moore County. And so far, thus far, we've been inoculating people for a month, six weeks now. We have managed to inoculate less than 5% of the population of Moore County. Clearly, that's insufficient. It makes me a little angry. So we don't know. We don't know what the disease or pandemic process is going to look like. We're going to do our best and we will see. So that's Easter. We have, can we, the inoculation services and now an update about Emmanuel. Finally, COVID has been hitting Emmanuel fairly hard. We have had relatives living here in Moore County of our parishioners who have died. 
we have members of Moore County, excuse me, members of Emmanuel who are near unto death. More and more of us at Emmanuel are getting sick. And we finally have a staff member of Emmanuel be sick. And most of us on staff, myself included, have been exposed to this illness in a very significant in-person way. What that means is that we are all of us, all of us who work at Emmanuel, are going to be working at home. This has been the norm for some time, but we're reiterating this. The offices are closed unless you have a dire need to be inside for some particular reason. I'm going to be shooting videos for worship from my home, for example. What this means is, if you want to reach us, we're still available to you. You can still call me. You can still call Homer. You can still call Elizabeth. You can still call Marie. You can still call Sue. You can still call Melissa. Just pick up the phone and call our cell phones. The church pays for them. We might as well use them. So there's no reason to feel as if we're not at work simply because we're not in the building. This has been a very hard three weeks or a month for Emmanuel and COVID. We've lost brothers, we've lost sisters, we've lost parents, and we are close to losing parishioners. I do hope that you are being safe. I do hope that you are helping to protect your brothers and sisters by wearing masks whenever you go outside. I do hope you're washing your hands and I know there's no hope behind them. I know that you walk in God's love and God's grace this day and forevermore. Thanks be to God. Amen.